All right, so today I am going to do the solar eclipse. So I know it's kind of late because it's literally tomorrow, but I kind of want to talk to you guys just about what, um, how it's going to affect each of your signs. So how we're going to do this, super simple, okay? You're going to listen out for your sun or your rising sign, okay? And those are going to be the themes of this solar eclipse. So just know that, um, I mean, eclipse season has pretty much been happening since the lunar eclipse till now. And then um, there's like a shadow kind of afterwards. So it, it, it's at least a week or so sometimes two weeks, just kind of depending on um, your signs and your chart, but you're going to be feeling these themes. So I'm going to get right into it. All right. First and foremost, um, front and center is of course the Aries. So if you are an Aries sun or an Aries rising, um, this solar eclipse is really going to energize your need to make a mark into the world. Um, it could communicate. Uh, it's a good time to kind of watch, you know, make sure you don't prematurely like push anybody, um, aim to build up ideas courage, enthusiasm. You're still likely to enjoy new ideas yourself and experiences as you kind of change your perspective of life. Um, expanding your reach and your audience is going to become very easy for you. You're learning new things kind of that really excite you. Certainly, this is a time to discover a new love for a certain topic or discipline. This energy have a way of kind of wiping the slate clean so that you can have a new beginning. As well, your ruler Mars harmonizes uh, with Mercury facilitating good ideas and the urge to share. So if you are an Aries, there you go. Um, if you're a Taurus, this is all about financial new beginnings. Um, they're going to be in store for you during the solar eclipse. Uh, circumstances are going to make you rethink kind of how you've been spending your money and where those passions are going. Um, it can empower you to make a completely different lifestyle or psychological change, debts, loans, yours or your partner's. Um, necessarily income or financial backing is going to become really strong during uh, this eclipse season. You're prompted to develop new strategies to cut out unhealthy dependencies and habits that have been preventing you from growing or thriving. This can take um, time to really take charge, but it's going to help facilitate your finances, particularly money that you share with other people or coming from sources other than your income. So like investments, maybe. On another level, the eclipse season is all about kind of boosting your intimate relationships, whether it's a relationship with someone or even like the relationship with yourself. It's all about going in on those deeper desires. Gemini, if you are Gemini sun or Gemini rising, this is for you. Um, this is about giving you a good time to think. There can be a sense of new beginning or a cleaning of a slate related to partnerships and negotiations or commitment. Uh, you might be feeling that you need to get some counseling or pairing up with somebody to accomplish something very important to you in the next coming weeks and maybe even the next whole month. Um, themes this next year kind of relate to enhanced partnerships or leading to commitments that you might actually have to do solo. Uh, you benefit from taking a time to get in touch with your own needs, observation, and your self-honesty. Um, confidence in your ideas and plans are going to be very strong. In fact, you can feel so highly motivated and enthused with such good energy that you're sorting through problems and bringing ideas just to life like that. Um, increased clarity and good feelings from your frankness and openness is going to bring your natural talents, natural talents into very attractive light. All right, Cancer, if you are a Cancer sun or rising, this is for you. Uh, this is all about organizing chores, um, health pursuits, as this is kind of in your solar sixth house. So a new job or a major project or a commitment to wellness is definitely in the works for you. This eclipse season is going to give you kind of a cosmic nudge to deal with the details and practical side of your everyday life. Um, becoming more organized, taking charge of your routines. Still, it's going to really be the best if you took time out to just rest and regenerate. Um, this is an important time for formulating goals, initiatives, plans, so that you can get back on track both physically and mentally because the new year is right around the corner. Um, as of today, you can get really excited about putting those ideas into motion. Um, they're going to be things about your health, such as you know diet and exercise, or perhaps your job. Energy is also favorable towards partnerships, um, love affairs, relationships with kind of artistic peers. Um, while there are days that you tend to be magnetized um, kind of what your fear is due to your focus on flaws and frustrations, you're really going to be needing to focus on attracting the things that you actually desire. Leo, if you're a Leo sun or a Leo rising, this is for you. Um, it is transiting your solar fifth house, um, which emphasizes a new approach or path related to romance, creativity, hobbies, entertainment, children, or pleasures. Um, confidence in sharing and expressing yourself is going to be much easier and more of an upswing. Um, this can be a cosmic nudge to express yourself doing creating, romancing, enjoying, um, and entertaining kind of these next weeks ahead. Um, there can be an opening for new beginning or restarts along creative or romantic lines. 
Um, it's all about becoming very enthusiastic about changing those particular areas of your life. Um, you're more willing to take a chance on yourself too. If you're bringing ideas to life um, and you're especially protected or you're, you're wanting to protect the people that you really care about. So openness, willingness are all important qualities that are gonna help lead you to success. Virgo, if you are a Virgo sun or a Virgo rising, um, this is all about a new start with family, home life, living conditions, arrangements um, are possible kind of through this whole solar eclipse. Um, it's pushing you to a time that's going to honor your comfort, your safety, love, nurturing, kind of familiarity, those kind of aspects of your life. Changes in your organization of your home. The family members, they may be um, in order for the next coming weeks. This eclipse season activates your career home access. So it's about achieving a better balance. Um, the challenge at the stage is for you to bring yourself to more a personal life instead of just being like, you know, only half there. Um, you're in a good position for communicating, following a hunch, seeking out new interests. You can feel pleasantly busy and on top of things. You're particularly fine shape though um, for domestic activities and doing things with your family and loved ones. So that's where I would focus. Libra. If you are a Libra, it is a wise time to just kind of chill and slow down. Um, the need for new beginnings with lines of communication, learning, um, commuting others can just feel really like stirred up right now. Um, sometimes systems are going to break and it's really going to force you to have to look at things in a completely new way. Even with new worlds, though, as you kind of mo move through everything, um, it's just going to be a little bit differently. Discovering new channels for expressing yourselves or connecting with others. Um, you're kind of getting into a framework of mind where you don't want to dwell on problems. You really want to fix them. You're in a particularly good uh, position to start studying or um, start conversations, making new connections. You tend to get to the point quickly during this time. Um, you might pair up with somebody um, for a satisfying sort of activity or for like problem solving especially favored in things like money news, goodbyes, um, enjoyment with loved ones. So there can be a really strong desire to just honestly enjoy yourself and just bask in your recent victories. <laughs> so Scorpio, if you are a Scorpio sun or a Scorpio rising, this is for you. Um, the solar eclipse is going to kind of prompt you to have a completely new budget or plan um, as it occurs in your solar second house. Um, this eclipse season really encourages you to start fresh with your money and find new improved ways to manage your resources. It can also nudge you um, to having better spending habits and a more faith and confidence in your ability to take care of yourself or the people around you. If you're looking to earn more, this is gonna be a definitely a good time for you to seek new channels. A new worldwide kind of view is going to change how you see relationships, belongings, finances, comfort, sense of security. Also, um, you're in a really good spot to kind of shape ideas with other people. A surge of energy um, for defending or asserting yourself may lead to improvements in earnings, work methods, health and lifestyle. What seems like a problem is going to end up sort of resolving itself and in your favor. So you're going to also attract admirers that is going to give you that natural sense of confidence. So next up is Sagittarius. If you are a Sag sun, moon, rising, I mean, it's like center stage for you because the solar eclipse is in your sign. It is in your sense of self. This is going to give you the most powerful sleep um, like slate cleaning that you've had all year long. So something new is really brewing inside of you. And it's much about kicking old habits, starting fresh, um, presenting a more self-assured version of yourself. Um, as you prepare for this new energy in your life, aim to focus on review, meditation, and activities that are going to help you purge and process and release any negative energy. As you advance through that, you're likely to find yourself at a turning point um, through through experiencing a very big energy shift. Um, this eclipse is part of a series that's really been going on for you since like summer and is finally going to end. So it really feels like a closed chapter and you're opening a completely new one. So during this period, you know, you have to see yourself in a very meaningful way, get in touch with your own personal power and independence. And you're making changes to how you approach the world and kind of how you see it, you know? Um, your mental energy is really building. You're attracted to situations that are engaging that have to do with movement, learning, new ideas. And this is going to give you that extra courage to share your feelings and opinions. Next up is Capricorn. Um, so Capricorn's all about just like chilling out. Um, this is an emphasize to really look within and take the time to create a healthy work-related life balance. Um, that's all it's really about this eclipse season. Your hunches are super powerful and they're hard to ignore. Um, there's this feeling that something's coming out of the blue or you have dreams that are going to give you a completely different outlook and push you kind of along a new path. But 
in order to do that, you must be mindful to keep attention to your tasks and your chores. Um, the trick is to find that right balance and that's what the focus is for you. So you're not exactly putting everything on hold, but there's a call to make more time for yourself so that you can recharge. Nevertheless, this eclipse is gonna help motivate you to deal with past and private matters. So let go of all the things that you no longer need and attend to your mental and emotional wellness. And it's a great time to kind of clear your desk, your confidence and your ideas that are gonna boost. You can be especially creative and ready to put dreams into motion, um, pursuits that combined imagination. The action can be very beneficial for you right now. Aquarius, if you are an Aquarius rising or an Aquarius sun, this is for you. And it's all about goals that are involving the joining and strengthening of ties in any kind of group or activity, networking, um, making connections are completely very, very favorable for you. There is a strong desire to break from the past and start new, especially because it's the year of the Aquarius next year. So it's like setting you up to be center stage. Um, changes are in the work for your social life, hopes, dreams, community involvement. Um, this trend kind of first emerged really in the summer and it will continue to develop over the entire um, 2021. So if you're deciding about pursuing um, a new project of your own or you know, you've know you started something already, you might kind of want to start delegating tasks or collaborate you know, or find somebody to really work with, uh, the change is likely to be a very empowering one. Even if your first instinct is to completely resist it, I'm telling you, don't do it. Go all in. Um, a fresh start is possible with friendships and group connections. Uh, the people and causes with which you're kind of aligning are going to evolve. Um, you're ready to sort out problems. Um, you might be seeking intellectual stimulation or drawing up plans for a new project. Just find people to collaborate with and sky's the limit. Okay. So last but not least, Pisces, um, Pisces marks just a time ahead. There can be new responsibilities, recognition, a new position or project for a Pisces. Um, you might come into the limelight in some manner and you'll find others are starting to notice you for your performance and actions. There can be a need to follow the rules or straighten kind of things out in your area of life. Changes in your goals, plans, and priorities. Oh, changes in your goals, plans, and priorities are going to be very necessary. Taking the lead and receiving more attention, although usually uncomfortable for you, is going to be perfectly okay. Um, you need to believe more in yourself and have confidence in your abilities as the weeks um, kind of roll out ahead of you. You're likely to just really enjoy this momentum. Um, you can also feel really motivated to move towards plans or enhance a new idea that has to do with business, career, or your reputation. So it might be a little bit too early to push them in right this very second, but you're kind of filling in all of the ideas and putting all the plans in motion so that over the next coming weeks, you can launch the life you want to live. Mwah.